She call I put her on black list. I call that options. They can support it, get dropped quick. Let's go, baby. We just finished the run right now. We just got done with five miles, put it right in the bank. We're fighting Emmanuel Tegel. He has to go because that's, I guess that's his name. Emmanuel is 32 and one. He's only suffered one defeat and that was in his first fight ever. So basically he's been on a 32 win streak. He's ranked number six in the world. He's from Ghana and uh, he's gonna be a Ghana. He's gonna get beat April 9th in San Antonio, Texas, live on DAZN. Don't miss it, it's gonna be great. I'm so happy to just finally be back in the ring. I haven't fought in a year and a half. A lot of people don't know if I still got it. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm all about. Let's get it. We got some new faces joining us this training camp. You got James, Komodo, Garcia. We're locked in, right? He's my assistant. You got my brother, Sean. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh, he's my training assistant. We helps out Joe and my dad during my training sessions. You got another fighter here named Santos Ortega. He's 5-0 and or 6-0. I've known him since I was nine years old. He was like seven. And then you got Nikita, known as White Chocolate. His last name, not good at it, I'm not gonna butcher it. I've known Nikita since I was like seven years old. What do you want from me, snitch? He's 11 and 0, with six KO, so we're all grinding. We all got fights in April. Switch it up now. Yeah, it's crazy. I grew up with these guys and now they're training with me and you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of them. Ah. We just got each other's back, you know. Whenever somebody's tired or feeling down that day, we're picking each other up. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. We feel so good. We're in this together. We're like the same person, different hair color. It's just good to have like-minded people that are ready to take advantage of the opportunities, and we're not gonna let it slip. <laughs> We're all building our own legacy, and when we get in the ring, you guys are gonna see something special. If you don't got power, you're not gonna be gonna walk right through you. Javante has power, he's but he's so dog. <laughs> nah, Javante, he's good. He's just he gets hit a lot, so when I hit him, you gotta be able to dish it out, and I take it, and he's not gonna be able to take it. So when he gets cracked with my left hook, it's really gonna, gonna be calm. what boxing. Yeah, I'm gonna stay calm. One on one. Let's see. Last the longest. Second round, Ryan Garcia knocked him out with a straight left hook and it was sweet. He came in and tried to throw the uppercut, jumping in. He got caught right on the chin and went to bed. Sleep. We're on our way to look to uh, find a building for a gym I am making. I want to have my own gym, so we're in search of a good building. This is my first step of having my officially my first own gym for myself. I'm looking for a new gym because probably by the time this comes out, you guys will hear that I'm not with Canelo and Eddie Reynoso no more. So it's time to go my own way, but I still love them all. Yeah, this is it. Dang. I like it. Treadmill. Wow. Yeah, this is too small. Once you put the ring in here, there's not gonna be enough room for anything. The ring is 20 by 20. Compared to the other one that we saw, the other one's three times this size. Yeah, so it is. big, like huge. You have another one in this complex? Well, you thought I was gonna come back and suck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna take time for me to find my timing. You know what? That's the most difficult part. Then how did Anybody? I do it? Because it's in you. It's in your blood. Boxer by heart. TikToker by choice. <laughs> This is it. Get really one nice big ring. But hey, you have you have to put a picture of me up here. You're right here, just Ooh, all the past champions right. going to the future champions and going to me over there. Yeah. That'd be sick. But that didn't make sense though. You said future champions. So past champions. President. And then present. No, no, not present. Not present. But like all the legend, boom, 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 and then me at the end. Right we'll put Sean like right over there. Just a little, little micro painting of him. And him saying, I'm rusty. Oh. 
We we pet the kid over there saying, Oh my gosh, it was one time. Oh no no no. Hey, hey, no no, we're having the keto like this. And on top of it, I should go home for this. <laughs> now it's your chance to come see me fight in San Antonio, Texas on April 9th. Click the link here or check out the link in my bio to learn how to enter. And keep a lookout on how to score extra entries. Let's get it. Massage me a little bit while you're doing that. So I've been training with this new trainer. His name is Joe Goosen. I've been training with Joe since I was 17 years old. He was training me as an amateur. And then we split ways before I went pro. And now that we're back, you know, I'm 23 years old now. The chemistry's still there. We still get along perfectly fine. That's my Joe Lou. Joe Lou. I love working with Joe. Joe's awesome. It's a good one. I graded a lot of different trainers throughout the years how they do things and co-opted their ideas. But then there's a few things that I actually devised on on my own, you know. So it's it's right. a little bit of everything. Close, keep it close. How many years have you been training, Ryan? How long? If I had a guess, I would say 40 years. You're only 10 years off. 30. 50. Oh shit. Twice your age. What? <laughs> yeah, it is. More than twice. But yeah. look how good he looks too. Really that enough. boxing yeah. keeps you young, mother <laughs> <laughs> Every time you make that slip, throw it. Just keep throwing that. Having Joe come in is a breath of fresh air because you know he's going to be there 100%, 24-7. He's a workhorse like me. We're in the gym all the time. We're thinking about all the things we gotta do and uh, I'm working my ass off, so it's perfect. Joe is definitely tougher training-wise. Like, you're gonna get tired when you're training. And you're gonna have to do it over three hours in the gym. We put a lot of work in. We wake up in the morning, we shadow box, we do ab workouts, we come here, train for three hours, then we go train with Sid. They ain't train as hard as that. Yeah. It definitely kicks your ass. So much endurance that goes along with it. You just gotta keep going and it really teaches you to be strong-minded. Hard work, dedication, never mess up. Yeah, you never forsaken. I'm the best ever to do it. And just know when you fight me, you're about to lose it.